Hello guys, and welcome back to some Paper Mario Thousand Year Door. We are about to start the final chapter, and I don't even have the controller in my hand. So I did a bit of off-screen grinding, and obviously we weren't here before, but I wanted to be here just so I didn't have to, uh, you know, waste any time. Uh, I upgraded Vivian to her final level, and I, was, I only had three uh, Shine Sprites. Uh, what else did we do? I didn't level up, I'm at 98. 98 star points, so you guys get to see me level up. And I got a bunch of items here. I'm actually, I actually have a few spots open, but that's okay. I think we'll be fine. I grabbed some of my good items. I didn't grab my best ones, because I want to save those for the pit. Uh, but besides that, I think we're ready to go. I don't think I forgot to do anything off camera. So, let's go in. I, I guess we're frankly, frankly just not going to notice that the door is just closed behind me. Without anyone doing so. The thousand year door. And if you guys don't know, I had my 20th birthday on October 2nd. It's obviously, like 22 days after that now. But. Whoa, this place is nasty, but we don't have a choice. We've got to cruise through and save Peach before this whole cataclysm happens. Come on, Gonzalez. Isn't this music from another game where it sounds like, uh... Well, I'm kind of glad I kept a few spots now. So we're gonna, we're obviously gonna want to Bella out to tattle some of these new enemies we're gonna run into here. That's a super la, super la. An airborne, blood sucking, bat like thing. Max HP is 9, attack is 4, and defense is 0. Uh, as if losing HP wasn't bad enough, this little creep adds yours to its own. How totally gross. Don't let it bite me more. <laughs> Before this, uh, I, besides the grinding I did, I was watching Screw Attack, and I was watching them Mario vs. Sonic. And we leveled up. I was kind of thinking, like, maybe I should say, maybe I should, I should just stop at a lower number. Uh, that way I can actually ben kind of benefit from the level up since it restores your HP and everything, but I decided not to. We're just gonna go with the BP map. A BP max, a BP, yeah. A level up. Might as well. The thing is, like, I wanted to, I wanted to have some F, or some items that are purely just FP restores, so I don't, because I'm going to be using FP quite a bit. So I think I already said, but I'm just going to go zap tap, and then... From here on out, I'm going to have to, um... Oh, come on. Maybe I should also, uh... Get... Get out. Come on. Because, like, if anything, I feel like I'm gonna use, uh, more... FP. Damn, I that's so... I hate it when you're just one damage shy of killing them.
Um, I'm going to be using a lot of FP, obviously, so I kind of wanted to have some items that are just FP restores. To me, going to the final chapter with only 30 HP and 30 FP is low, at least I think it is. It's probably not as bad as I think it is, but it feels low for someone like me. Apparently I jumped on him, even though I feel like I was too low. Also, I have a lot of things going on, like <laughs> the Lucky Star and the uh, Happy FP. And, oh, like, I have quite a few things going on that are going to get me... Uh, Oops, I, I whiffed that one. Well, this kind of this is kind of like the same situation from that was, or from the first game where you could just wear a zap tap and then they can't do shit against you. Unless I go for my partner. It's four. Sorry, Delta. So, uh, also from my last recording, I got I got up to episode seventy six. Bullshit game, you know. Now they're just going for Delta because it's like, oh, Mario has that tap on. They can't do shit against him. Look at all that. Oh, I keep whipping that. What? Why would you do that? <laughs> Come on. Thank you. Getting a, getting a good chunk of star points from me at least. And I bought a bunch of gold bars and stuff too, so if you're wondering why my coin count is pretty low. I say pretty low, but it's still like almost 400. So. Also, I went to, I forget her name, but the girl, but the person that, uh, the person that gives you like the bonuses, like the random bonuses, like extra star points, extra damage. Probably gonna want Vivian out. Although I feel like explosives would probably be good against them. I really don't know. I should have got Goombella out now I think about it. I think these guys are going to be different. Yeah, they're different. No, I didn't mean to. God damn it. I forgot about that. These guys are hitting for a lot. I hit, I hit Y first there. Okay, now that I know that. Because then we only see like dry bones in like chap chapter one. I forget, like, I think they might have been in the glitch bit, but I still can't remember. Probably gonna have more. I like how they literally call it normal jump. Get rid of one right away.
God damn it. <laughs> Stop going for my partner. Go for me. I got like all supers in the audience. So yeah, anyway, um, I I feel pretty confident in saying where I'm gonna hit a hundred, a hundred parts, and like unless I cheat and like make each video like two hours long or something. Go ahead and get a tad on these guys. It's a dry bone. It's a form of Koopa whose spirit animates its own. Eek, that's so freaky. Max HP is 8, attack is 5, and defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Firing explosions will put a permanent end to it getting back up, though. A dry bones will sometimes build friends if it feels it's outnumbered. If you don't take them... If you don't take them all out close together, they'll just keep coming back. Let's wipe them out all at once, and quick, these things totally freak me out. We don't have like a fire fire, do we? Okay, let's go ahead and get rid of the bat. Let's go ahead and uh, switch. Oops, that's not actually. Attack all enemies with a massive blast. The fuck, I never do this, so. What? Maybe I should keep him out. Although, granted, I don't want to keep using the bomb bomb blast because that will just eat up my FP real quick. Here, here the oh, fuck off. Here the uh, cannon full build. I'm gonna go spreading this out. It's a lot of damage. I kind of forgot that his regular attack is just a blow up. I was, I don't know why I was thinking of Bondetti from the first game, and I think she just kind of does like a body slam, if I remember correctly. So. Yeah. 
as I hope. <laughs> We're getting good star points though at least. Go ahead and get Gumbella back out. Does this actually work? <laughs> Can you just do this? Couldn't you actually roll up in a paper thing too? I kind of want to try that, but at the same time, I don't. That's a B bill, a B bill blaster. It fires bombshell, bombshell bills. Sorry about the abbreviation. Max HP is ten. Its defense is four. It's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hit this guy, hurt this guy. This is if you don't take it out, it'll keep shooting bombshell bills at you. So you got to figure out a way to beat it and fast. Uh, well, I know that Delta would probably be my best friend here. At least I hope so. Unless, I forget, his, his thing will work on him, right? I imagine those things really suck. I mean, we also do have those badges zone that are decreasing the FP use of uh, special moves and also restoring our FP. Oh, fuck you too, game. That was a little... <laughs> definitely caught me off guard. Um, I think we're full on items right now, so I want to use them. I think this would be good. Nothing. Hit action commands, attack rises, shows up to the right. So there's not the right. Nope. Gotta walk really slowly. Alright. I tried.
I mean, this is the last chapter, so it should be fairly long anyway. We already passed 20 minutes. 